Hello and welcome to this session everyone. My name is Yogesh. In last few sessions on Docker Swarm, we have talked about Docker Swarm basics, cluster creation and uh, management. In this session, we are going to talk about Docker Swarm services. We will be covering how you can create a service and how you can perform the management of that particular service. So let's begin. So guys, service is the definition of the task to execute on the worker nodes. It is the central structure of the swarm system and the primary root of user interaction with the swarm. When you create a service, you specify which particular container image to use, which command to be executed inside the running containers, which port to be exposed, what is going to be replicas or number of uh, instance count, what is going to be resource definitions like how much CPU you want to allocate, how you, much RAM you want to allocate, what is going to be your uh, disk mapping or directory mapping, everything you specify in the service definitions. Running services in Docker Swarm. We have Swarm cluster up and we are ready to deploy the services. In this demo, we will deploy a service name web server, which will be using Nginx Docker images. You can see the command, that's easy, docker service create minus p is for port, port 8080 is exposed and uh, it is forwarded to port 80 and dash dash name which is web server and uh, nginx is the image which we are going to use. In the above example as I mentioned we are mapping port 80 in nginx container to port 8080 on the cluster so that we can access the default nginx page from anywhere. Another thing which is very important to understand, Swarm service modes. So Swarm service supports two modes. One is replicated, one is global. If you don't specify anything, the default mode is replicated. What is replicated mode? In replicated mode, you can pass number of replicas of service and Swarm maintain that count. Let's say you, have create, you are going to create a service where you specify number of replicas five or two or three, whatever value you want. So Swarm always maintain that particular replica count. Swarm make sure those many replicas are always up and running. In case uh, due to some issue, one replica dies, Swarm automatically creates a new replica so that it can maintain the desired count or desired state. So that's a replicated way. The other way is global mode. To start, a global service on each available node pass dash dash mode global to the docker service create command. Every time a new node becomes available, the scheduler places a task on the global service on the new node. So guys, what it means? In this example, you can see here, we are not specifying number of replicas, but we are saying dash dash mode global. Rest things are same. Uh, what it means? Uh, Let's say you got uh, a three node swarm. So when you create a service using dash dash mode global, automatically three replicas will be created. Let's assume one scenario, you add two new nodes. So what will happen? Automatically two more instances will be created on new nodes when they join. I believe it makes sense, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, another thing, uh, let's take another scenario. You got five node swarm cluster. Two of the nodes leaves the cluster or you remove them from cluster. What is going to happen? That service will be still running on three nodes. It is not going to spin up five replicas on three nodes. So it will be three replicas on three nodes. So that's called global mode. That's based on number of instances, uh, number of uh, worker nodes. So let's quickly create a service. So I am on my manager node here I am going to create a service. So docker space service create minus p port 8080 is the published port 80 on uh, nginx and uh, dash dash name web server is the service name. This is the image which I am telling to use pressing enter. So this will create service. 
I'm running this command on my manager node because manager node is one who will uh, send uh, this particular request to the workers. You can see here, this is the service ID, service code created successfully. This is a service ID. We got one message. Uh, don't get worried uh, with the red color because uh, it is saying since detach is false, we haven't specified detach by default it false. So this task will uh, be performed or get created in the background. So that's good. Uh, that's what we want. It can go into background. We don't want to uh, see what is happening. So this is a way like services get created. How you can list a service? You can run docker service ls. You can see this is a service ID. This was the task ID. This is the service ID now. This is the name of service web server. It's replicated as you mentioned when you don't specify anything by default it is replicated. This is number of replicas. This one is mean desired because we need one instance to be running. Right now nothing is running. It's zero. So it may be getting created because I specified Nginx image. Maybe this image is not available locally on the worker node. So it may be getting downloaded. This is the image. This is the ports forwarding. So let's run ls again. You can see now replica count is one. So it means service is running. Uh, let me show you how we can access this particular service. Because Docker make use of uh, mesh networking. With that networking, you can uh, simply access uh, the service from anywhere in cluster. But first, let me show you right now where service is running. For that, you can run docker service ps and the service name. This is the service name or you can specify server, service id, which is this one. That's up to you. You can see here service is running on node 2. Its desired state is running and current state is also running. That's the reason we got 1 slash 1. Means desired count is 1 and actual count is 1 now, which means service is running. So let's try to access this particular service. Uh, before that, I want to tell you another thing. If you see this name, name is web server dot one. So how it works, web server is a service name. Dot one is that's a first replica. If you got uh, two replica, dot two, dot three, dot four. That's the uh, way it's going to work. So let's quickly do call. Here I'm specifying IP of uh, my node 2 which is 102 over port 8080 and let's see what happened i missed dot 1 sorry for that 1.102 you can see we got nginx welcome page over the ip address of node 2 you may be thinking uh, i used term uh, mesh networking what mesh networking mean uh, let's say the service is running on node 2 right if I want to access with the IP address of node 1, what is going to happen? You can see I'm able to see the welcome page. If I want to access it with the manager node IP, which is dot 100, what is going to happen? Still, I'm able to see the welcome page. That is mesh networking. And that's the beauty uh, of mesh networking. You can access this particular service from anywhere. What happens if you try to create service with the same port? Let's say this time I'm saying create web server 1. I'm not changing ports. So this port is already reserved over cluster. So let's see what happens. It will complain us like you can't create because this port is already used. But let's wait uh, the message to come. Okay, you can see error response from daemon. Port 8080 is already in use by service web server. So we can't use this port. So that's again a secure thing. So now let me show you how you can create a replicated service. Replicated service is something which I just created. Uh, let me show you again. This is replicated server with one replica. I'm going to create another replicated service uh, with more than one replica. So let me do that quickly. Here I'm running command docker service create dash dash name replicated and underscore, underscore service. This is service name. I'm saying three replicas of Nginx. Pressing enter. So this will create a replicated service with three replicas. Okay, so this is done. This is the task ID and it will go into background. It may take some time to create. 
you can see one replica is created on other two nodes maybe they will be downloading the nginx image at present so once that image is downloaded the replica count uh, active replica count will be three okay let's wait it for to finish another thing we can uh, meanwhile create a global service to create a global service docker service dash then create dash dash name global service whatever name you want to put you can put for demonstration i have picked a global underscore service otherwise you can put whatever name you want dash dash mode is global and nginx is the image okay it's about to finish okay that's good it finished so let's do service ls you can see this particular service which we created initially that is replicated this is replicated service with three replica its mode is replicated here right now only one replica is up and uh, this is the global service which we created and mode is global right now one replica is up and three you can see we haven't specified the count to be three replicas if you see this command nowhere we specified replica count three but automatically pick three because there are three worker nodes so depending upon worker node count it will spin off uh, those many instances or replicas automatically so that's a global service let's wait it to finish meanwhile i can do run uh, ps docker service ps web server to show you like it is running on uh, node 2 let's check about uh, replicated service this is the replicated service name it is running on uh, node 2 node 1 and the manager and uh, the global service let's check quickly it's also hosted on node 1 node 2 and manager and it's running okay so let's check the states now docker service ls you can see here it's three replicas up here three are desired three are up three desired three up so it means our services are running so guys uh, that's a way you can create services you can create replicated service or global service depending upon your requirement next thing let's do something quickly uh, right now for this replicated service this one there are three replicas which we put as desired this is desired state let's say we want to scale up the service how we can scale up so docker service scale then the service name this is a service name and i'm saying uh, make it uh, six or let's say five five replicas instead of three press enter so you can see replicated service scale to five so let's see what is the state now so desired five replicas now five replicas are running so that's a way you can scale up the resources if you want to scale down same command here you can specify replica is equal to one so it is scaled down to one repeat this command you can see one is desired and only one is running so you can see how quickly within one second it deleted the or updated the definitions and deleted the docker images on the target machine so that that's a speed which i'm very happy with okay so if you want to see a detailed information about a service how you can see that for that you can uh, use docker service inspect dash dash pretty and uh, the service name let's say i want to see detail about uh, this replicated service just telling id is this one name is this one this is replicated service right now one replica parallelism one these are the other options which i used and uh, this is the image which is in use so that's a way you can get detail about any service how if you want to delete a service right now we got three services running let's say i want to delete the global service how i can delete that docker service rm and the service name this is a service name 
or you can specify service id also let's specify service id okay it's deleted let's run docker ls you can see that service is gone and uh, instead of service id you can mention service name also let's say replicated service this is gone sorry ls you can see only one service is running so that's the way guys you can perform the service management so there are further reading if you want to get more detail uh, about services you can always refer uh, docker documentation which is very good even i reference uh, for most of the things in this tutorial uh, that is coming from uh, that particular docker notes in next video we will be discussing how you can uh, make a manager node to act as manager only you don't want uh, manager not to participate in worker activities so that's something i'm going to cover in next video so stay tuned thanks for watching this video if you have any query any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you guys bye bye